Louisiana's indigenous people have always had a sacred relationship with the land and water. The river has been a place to fish and serves as a life source for native communities. Their respect for the river is deep. They have managed to live in harmony with the waters of Louisiana. Let's take a step back to reflect on the indigenous Chittimacha tribes living on the Atchafalaya River. I navigate native waters in a small wooden boat, not unlike those my father built before I was born. He was the last chief of the Chittimacha, a name that means people of the many waters. Along with my grandmother, he passed on to me the traditions of our tribe. There are things that should not be forgotten, and I am among those who remember. The Jafalaya Basin is the ancestral home of my people. It's over 800,000 acres of wild country, the largest river swamp in North America, bigger than the Everglades. But this fragile wetland is vanishing, and the question is whether the Chittimacha can survive without our native waters. Louisiana has always had a complex relationship with its waters. When storms come, so do the floods. Once the colonists came, they decided they needed a way to fix this problem, so they built levees. While the levees solved for one issue, they created more. They changed the path of the rivers and prevented the river from depositing sediment to create new flatlands called deltas. Big oil industries also ruined the river and land, taking away some of the sacred spaces of the indigenous peoples. The Atchafalaya Basin is a place where the boundaries between water and land merge, and the two constantly contest with each other. The Chittimacha people have lived at the water's edge for uncounted generations, but today our native waters are under threat. The levee strangled our ancestral lake into a gasping, lethargic web of channels. Later, the oil industry would arrive with steel rigs and hard hats, cut pipeline and crew boat channels, breaking the marsh into dying seconds. Sandbars dissect the basin, infested with Chinese tallow and other non-indigenous species. lose a lake like this, we're not only losing an environmental place, or an ecological system, we're also losing a, a cultural legacy.